As a smaller streamer, it can be very difficult sometimes to get your chat engaged and moving forward with you in the content. Now, I've went ahead and I've developed in StreamerBot a few things for you guys to download that really can help you drive this stuff forward. So first of all, welcome back to another video. I'm going to show you these three items I've made. One is for first, second, third in chat to try and drive a little competition between everybody. Another one is a watch streak competition kind of thing where it's going to record who has the top watch streak and seeing if somebody can take over that spot. And then the last thing I've got is what I like to call the Twitch encouragement. Encouragement. Yes. Great job. I'm hoping these three actions are going to be amazing for you. Let me know in the comments if you plan on using any of these or if you think that these need to be tailored a little bit differently. So with that, let's go ahead and dive in to these three things that you guys can download absolutely free and use at your discretion. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is what I'm calling first chatters. Now, this is basically a way for you to track who comes into your stream first, second, and third. You know everybody likes to come in and be like, I'm first, ha <laughs> ha. Well, this is a way that you can start tracking that and kind of generate a little competition with everybody. So let me break this down a little bit. So in the actions, you're gonna see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six different things that make this work. Now, let me show you how. What we have first is if this equals the broadcaster role, which is marked with a number four, then we make sure that you are ignored. If you wanna disable this and you wanna count yourself, go ahead. But you can also add another one of these logics, just duplicate and equals three, that would also be your moderators then. But if I open up this execute just to show you, what's going to happen is we're gonna add the information from the person redeeming from the chat message here. It's going to increment the chat counter, which is basically going to count up the chats so that way we can make sure, hey, we know how many chats have happened. Then what happens as we go through is if the chat number is one, then we do the first chatter. If it equals two, then the second chatter. If it equals three, third chat. Those are the only ones that will trigger. So if we go to the first chat, we're gonna make sure that this person knows that they're the first person. And we're gonna increment their firsts that they've done by one. Just set that and send a message saying, hey, congratulations, you're first. Now, if you wanna change your Twitch messages, you can do that, just go to the message actions and you can set this up however you want. Just make sure that this right here is the name of the person, the first, and then this is how many times they have achieved that. And that'll happen as well on the seconds. So this would be seconds and then, hey, total two. And then on third, it's the same thing. Now, if you're wondering, wait a minute, what if the same person chats like twice in a row? Wouldn't that give them first and second? No, I built in something to make sure that won't happen. That's what this negative one chat counter is. So here it just says, hey, decrease the global chat by one. So let's say where it's the second person in chat. What's well, gonna say, hey, let's see who the first one was. And then if the first one is the same as the second chat, we're gonna subtract one from that counter and just start again. So effectively what this does is say, hey, if this person matches this person, cool, minus that counter one, so that way we can make sure we get this second person running again. So this way we can make sure that we have our first, we have our second and we have our third and they're all going to be different people. Now, if we want to see how we can make this a little competitive, this is where chat can then trigger their own chat command and start aging competition with each other. Who got there first? Who's the most passionate of your viewers? Well, that's where we get to come to the viewer check counts. So up here we have where it is exclamation point first rank. Now you can rename this however you want just by going into the commands. Now you can change this command to whatever you really want it to be by just going into your commands and then coming down where it says first chatter and you double click and you can change this command to whatever you would like. But this is what I have it set up for right now. And so let's go ahead and test this in Twitch. There we go. That shows that I have been first in chat two times, second, six times, and third, none. Is that it's going to track every first, every second, and every third, and everybody can compare with each other who is the best? Who can show up to your stream first? Let that competition go wild. And it's really honestly simple things like this that really can drive a lot of different kinds of engagement. This makes it to where people want to show up your stream first, want to be there. So that way they can increase their number and beat their friends to the punch. This is the first thing that I have offered to you. Now, what about the next one? Well, this is the watch streak one. Now for the watch streak widget that I've made for you guys, 
this really does rely on the watch streaks from Twitch. There is no need to do any kind of redeem or channel point to make this happen to where somebody might forget or anything like that. No, this is simply pulling the information from Twitch's own watch streak counters and implementing it into your own thing. Now, one of the things that might kind of hold this back is, well, Twitch doesn't exactly do every single number as a streak. So there might be a delay in some different things when it comes to tracking these, but still, this is gonna be fun for your users to compete against each other with. So with the watch streak, if I go into the main here, you're gonna see that there isn't a whole lot here, but one thing I do wanna point out is a setting right here where it's set argument the bot to either true or false. Now setting the bot true or false is basically, do you have a bot account? And if you don't, it goes to false and it'll just put it out at the message out as you the broadcaster. If you do have it a bot, it with streamer bot, you should already have that linked, in which case then it'll send it out as your bot. So this is just a setting that you can change how the message is sent. This is going to trigger anytime somebody activates the Twitch watch streak on your stream. So with that, you don't really have to worry about much and well, adds a little more excitement to using that watch streak button. And so here we have where there's a command of watch streak and what this is going to do is bring up the top five people who have the watch streaks if i go to twitch and i add the watch streak it should come up letting me know hey here it is of course i have two different streamer bots open right now but okay but when we use the example one here on the top five watch streak it, we've got where there's 43 42 42 i mean these are all tests but this is showing you the top five people and their streak count. And then you can even see here, oh look, Felix the Manager became the, the first one to achieve the, you know, first chatter, so that works. But let's just go ahead and say that we're gonna trigger this watch streak. Let's say somebody triggers it. What happens? Ah, here we go. Currently holds a streak of 42. Keep going and see if you can dethrone this person whose streak is 43. Now this is just kind of a, a simple way of kind of creating some competition and going, ha ha, you haven't quite hit it yet. But it's a way for you to have a little bit of fun with your community and see if you can drive that little bit of competition to where people want to be in your streams every single stream so they can keep their streak going and be the highest. It's little things like this that always kind of drives a little more interaction or a little more entertainment for the chat to find ways to compete with each other. Now, one thing I do want to point out is in the code for the watch streak in the main, if you wanted to change how those messages come up, starting at line 44, it's gonna show you these messages that will pop up and you can change these if you so desire. But the first one is basically who has the lead. So, hey, this person, you've claimed the lead for the longest watch streak. For this, the user is still holding the top streak. That's basically saying, hey, you're still holding it. You, you've checked in and you're still holding the lead. You're continuing to hold it, good job. And then this last one is for anyone who isn't in the lead. This is going to set up to, hey, this person currently has this streak, but hey, keep going and see if you can dethrone this person's top streak of drive that desire to continue to keep a streak alive and going. So now we've got two fantastic ways to have your chat compete and interact with each other when it comes to being in your stream, just being there. But now there's one last component here that I feel needs to be something to help you out a little bit. And that's when you get new viewers coming in and maybe they're just a little nervous about coming in and being a part of your stream. Well, that's where I've created something that I call the Twitch Encouragement. And this is essentially just going to trigger a message into the chat, say, hey, this is a welcoming community. And this is automated based on if your viewer count should increase. So let me kind of go through this. So on the Twitch Encouragement that I have here, if you go to Encouragement Settings, this is the main action where everything is gonna get triggered. So your view count will, whenever it updates, this is what's going to happen so you're gonna want to set your message here so come in here and set whatever you want your message to say and then hit okay and then I have this which is called streak trigger now the streak trigger this is essentially a way to say I don't want my chat to be spammed with this same message over and over again what this is going to check for is how many times have we had an increase in viewers? Now this does not count the decrease. So if your viewer count should go down, nothing's gonna happen. It's not gonna check for that. But if it's 
gone up at any point, then it will say, okay, that's one time it's gone up. And then if it goes up another time, that's two times, three times, four times. It's basically a pause between every single time you get hit that increase in viewers. So I've set mine to five because that seemed to have worked out okay to where my chat wasn't spammed with the message time and time again and kept it kind of reasonable. Now, this really depends on your own stream. Do you have a highly engaged chat to where, you know, you five would be fine, where it feels more organic and natural, or you need to set it to something higher to where you don't have a lot of people really chatting and you don't want it to seem like your bot is spamming your chat channel. Either way, play with the streak trigger because this is basically going to be a nice control for however many times you have this increase. And that's really all you have to do for this when setting it up is these two things. Okay, now, anytime we have an increase in the viewer count, it should go ahead and trigger and boom, hey, I am your message. And that's really that we all, all that we need. And of course, well, all right, what happens when I start messing with stuff? I am not the star of this show. Calm down, message. We both know SUV and this is the real MVP. Wait, what? You're confusing me. <laughs> but now you have an action that will help you to every now and then send out a message to your chat saying, hey, go pay to chat in here. Be kind, come in, enjoy. And if you don't want to use it for that, set it for your chat rules. Be a little reminder of chat rules. You can use it for that as well. But I built this as a way to try and encourage people to interact with you while you're streaming and let any lurkers know that, hey, it's okay to chat if you want to. Or you can say, hey, it's cool if you lurk, I don't care. But with these three actions, I feel that this is perfect for anybody who's just starting out with StreamerBot, is just starting out with streaming, and just needs that little bit extra to try and generate more people interacting with their channels. Now, you can download these for free from my website anytime you want, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And honestly, in the comments, let me know if any of these are like super helpful for you, or are these junk ideas? Feedback is exactly what I need to make sure I'm creating stuff that people actually want. But I figured this is something I wanted, so I figured you guys would want it too. Now don't forget to subscribe to the channel because, oh man, I create this kind of stuff all the time. I love making things and just giving them to you guys so you can create your streams and make your streams the way you want them to be. But with that, that is all I've got for the video for today. And I just hope that this works for you and, and helps you to grow. So with that, my friends, you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you on the next video.